After a seven-year journey, a capsule carrying NASA's first asteroid samples landed in the Utah desert this morning. The spacecraft brought back soil from the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. As Skylar Henry reports, scientists hope it will contain clues to the origins of life. CDL milestone, we have confirmed parachute deployment. In a flyby of Earth, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft released the capsule containing asteroid fragments from 63,000 miles out. FRC has touched down. The saucer-shaped capsule holding possible clues about the birth of the solar system slammed into Earth's atmosphere and touched down in the Utah desert. Sunday's landing wraps up a seven-year, four-billion-mile voyage to transport the sample from an asteroid called Bennu here to planet Earth. NASA officials spoke about the successful mission. It was pulse pounding, I'm sure for you watching it, even more for those of us in the helicopters. We were uh, with bated breath making sure that we came down for a, a nice soft landing in the Utah desert and it worked and it worked spectacularly well. The capsule holding the precious cargo was moved to a temporary clean room at the Defense Department's Utah Test and Training Range. We're hoping that we'll see organics, we'll see amino acids, the building blocks of life, as well as evidence for past water on Bennu, because all of these things are the sorts of materials that asteroids and comets delivered to the Earth when it was forming and helped life to be able to flourish. Meanwhile, the mothership, OSIRIS-REx, set off after another asteroid. Because they are pristine examples of planetary building blocks, we want to study them because they're going to tell us a lot about how the Earth and all of the planets in our solar system were formed. Since the capsule was intact, it's likely the four and a half billion year old asteroid pieces were free of contamination, making them perfect specimens to study. Skylar Henry, CBS News, Washington.